On June 11, 2016, Ferris Bueller's Day Off has turned 30 years old. So to celebrate the 30th anniversary, myself and Justin Watches Movies are going to be reviewing this movie. So I hope you all enjoy the review. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Ferris Bueller's Day Off. So Ferris Bueller's Day Off is written and directed by John Hughes. The film stars Matthew Broderick and Ferris Bueller's Day Off is about when Ferris Bueller takes a day off from school. Despite the fact that he knows that he's been playing hooky a lot, he goes ahead and takes the day off and he spends the day with his girlfriend and his best friend. So so the three of them go on this journey while the principal finds out that Ferris Bueller is up to no good. So before I review Ferris Bueller's Day Off, my guest star Justin Watches Movies is going to be reviewing this movie. So Justin, take it away. Thank you 22 Tiger Dude for allowing me to be on your channel here to discuss one of the best, hey, let's skip school and watch a movie. And that is Ferris Bueller's Day Off. This is truly a remarkable movie, um, one of Matthew Broderick's best roles ever, one of the best feel-good, you know, what it should be like if you really skip school and just want to have fun. This is it. This has everything in it that you imagine. Um, you know, I used to skip school sometimes in high school, and you know, it's nothing like this, but if I ever wanted to skip school again, this is what I would want to do. Ferris Bueller, uh, played by Matthew Broderick, is a very interesting character. I love watching Matthew Broderick play this character. He's, uh, I love it when he's talking to the screen about you know his day and his plans with everything. And I love the moments where he's trying to stay one ahead of everybody, if it's either his mom, his sister, his dad, or even his principal. And that adds for a lot of hilarious moments. The scene in Chicago on the float is one of the best musical numbers pieces in any movie ever. The movie overall is just really hip, it's really cool. It's a movie that doesn't really care about what it's doing or how its characters perceive, you know, skipping school. It's just really like that really cool jock guy in high school that, um, you know, he's just passing by and he's having the time of his life with it. And that's how this movie is. It's like, he's really cool and he's just passing by and it's... Um, they're just, you're watching just a bunch of cool kids and they don't really care about things and they're just enjoying life. Sometimes when I used to skip school I would watch this film just because I was skipping school and I was watching a movie about skipping school. When I should have been out at a Chicago Cubs game or on a float singing the twist and shout. So Ferris Bueller's Day Off is one of my all time favorite films. It is truly magnificent. I love um, the characters' interactions. I love the comedy. I love the carefreeness of the film, and I'm going to go ahead and give Ferris Bueller's Day Off an A+. <music> Thank you 22 Tiger Dude for allowing me to be on your channel to discuss Ferris Bueller's Day Off, one of the best movies to just skip school and watch movie. If you want to watch a movie, just choose Ferris Bueller's Day Off. So 22 Tiger Dude has it, I'm sure that Ferris Bueller would have it as well. And I have it, and I have Tiger Power! Thank you so much, Justin, for reviewing Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Now, Ferris Bueller's Day Off is honestly a pretty special movie to me, and it's a movie I just had to review for the 30th anniversary because it's honestly a classic. I consider it yet another classic from John Hughes. I think the reason this movie is so entertaining is obviously because of the well-written script by John Hughes. John Hughes did a really good job writing the script for the movie. There's a lot of great dialogue in the movie, a lot of very memorable dialogue to the film that you can quote. And the movie has really memorable characters. And what I did really like about Ferris Bueller's Day Off is not only is it just funny, but there's meaning to it. There's a lot of heart in Ferris Bueller's Day Off, especially I would say once we get to the second half is where we get more of the heart. There's actually a very great message about you being scared of the future, you having no idea what you're gonna do in the future because you don't have your life figured out and it's normal. Everyone goes through that where, you know, after they graduate or 
before they graduate they just have these thoughts it's explored with ferris bueller's best friend i really liked how this film handled the character of cameron you got to really understand where cameron was coming from on him not figuring out where to go in his life and it's really explored very well and you could definitely relate to Cameron for that reason. And Ferris Bueller, for the most part, I actually think he's a very likable character and I love the way how he would talk to us. He's breaking the fourth wall by talking to his audience member. So basically when you're watching this movie, it's like he's talking to you and I think that's actually very cool. Ferris Bueller will just talk to us about what he's doing, what he's planning because when he's having his day off, he has has this whole plan going on and the funny thing about this film is how the plan seem to work out for Ferris Bueller and what makes it funny is how there could be a few times a few times where Ferris Bueller could get caught but he gets a lucky break and I actually thought that was very funny the movie does have a lot of very funny moments throughout definitely a lot of good comedy to just make you smile as you're on this adventure with Ferris Cameron and Ferris's girlfriend but as you're watching the movie you can actually understand why Ferris decided to take the day off there is actually a whole reason why he even took the day off and I'm not gonna really spoil anything for those that haven't seen this movie when you really see why Ferris takes a day off from school it's actually very heartwarming and sweet and just shows why John Hughes is such an incredibly talented writer he can make you laugh but he can also make you connect with these characters have you go on this adventure with these characters and it's definitely a very funny and a very exciting one the parents in this film are very very gullible and i actually thought it was very funny i love the fact that the parents actually believe that Ferris is some kind of saint. He has his plans thought out. He's very sneaky. He knows how to turn what could have been a bad situation all the way around into a good one where he doesn't get caught. As far as John Hughes goes, it is a very well directed movie. The movie has beautiful cinematography, a lot of wide shots for you to really get into the world of Ferris Bueller, the crazy adventures that him, his best friend, and the girlfriend go on to together, and it's just very nice. The music in the film is absolutely beautiful. The movie is just so well executed, and just honestly, when the film ends, it puts a big old smile on my face it's just one of those movies that really does cheer me up now as far as my problems go with ferris bueller's day off i do think sometimes ferris bueller can be a very unlikable character it is hard to like him at times it's like the way he would talk to the waiter in this one scene i didn't really like how he was talking to the waiter and how he would force cameron to do things that cameron doesn't really feel comfortable doing he he is unlikable at times, but definitely for the most part, I have really liked Ferris Bueller. I also thought Ferris Bueller's sister, she honestly does get on my nerves. Not extremely annoying to me, however, but she does get on my nerves quite a bit. Although, yes, she does have a few funny moments. I'm not going to deny that, but for the most part, I did not really care for that character. The principal, I actually thought he was pretty funny at first because he's on the hunt for Ferris Bueller basically because he knows that Ferris Bueller isn't actually sick, he's actually up to no good. And the scenes when he's at the school were hysterical. I was laughing so hard. It's just once he goes to Ferris Bueller's house that the principal himself even did start to get on my nerves. And I thought it was wrong that even though, yes, he is keeping an eye out for Ferris Bueller because he doesn't trust him, it's very wrong that the principal was actually trying to trespass his house. Him, the parents, the sister's house. I thought that was very wrong and I just found the principal to be a very unlikable character. That's why some of the things that did happen, like for example when the dog would chase after him, it was very funny because the principal definitely deserved it. When it comes to a movie like this, you can predict where the storyline is going to go. You know where the whole movie is going to head leading up to the climax. And then speaking of the climax, I do feel like how the movie wraps up, it does feel a little 
little bit too quick in my opinion. And overall, you guys, Ferris Bueller's Day Off is a really good comedy. It's really enjoyable. It's a lot of fun to me, in my opinion. It's a very special film to me. It has a very memorable script with very memorable characters and very memorable comedy. The comedy in this movie is so funny. There's a lot of heart to this movie, too. And like I said earlier about the message, it's very well handled. The performances from everyone were all very nice. Oh, yes, I can't forget, you actually do get a cameo from Charlie Sheen in this film, which... I found it to be very interesting. So yes, I actually really enjoyed this movie. I think it's sweet. I think it's funny. It's thought provoking. It has all of the wonderful ingredients you need for a John Hughes movie. I think Ferris Bueller's Day Off is a very solid comedy and I'm gonna give it three out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And I would also love to thank Justin Watches Movies for being here to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Ferris Bueller's Day Off by reviewing it. He's a very cool friend. He's a very nice YouTuber. He loves movies. He has a really cool segment called Just In Time. I highly recommend his channel if you've never seen it. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have... Tiger power!